This next jam features a triumphant return of major in the form of Duffy's Edge. The name comes from two of the influences that are involved in what's happening in all the guitar parts, and that is Billy Duffy from The Cult and The Edge from U2. Guitar One is going to feature, uh, in the first half of what's going on, um, some closed position triads where you're muting on the fourth string and just establishing a nice uh, eighth note rock feel over what's happening in the bass and drums, which is a very simple part. In the second half, you're going to kick it up a notch and still play the same vibe, but you're going to be muting on the fifth string and utilizing um, uh, four note chords as opposed to three note chords, but still keeping with, with the same uh, general groove that was established in the first half. And that's the Billy Duffy part, so to speak. What happens in uh, Guitar 2 is where the edge comes in. It starts doing some very, very cool uh, delay-laced, uh, clustery, melodic type of playing where you're putting together chord tones cleverly uh, on the neck so that you can have these washes of harmony uh, ringing together, washes of notes creating this wash of harmony ringing together. And that's going to be further augmented by the second half where it plays this descending um, chordal line that is actually scale tones going down, but they all ring together to make this one big, huge splash of music. Guitar 3 is going to come in and not interrupt the vibe that's being set in the first half of this and just merely play sparse harmonics to color what's happening in Guitar 1 and 2 and let them shine. But then the second half, it's going to join in uh, with its own uh, signature, very cool, catchy, major type of things without sounding too candy. So overall, this is a great example of how to make major sound very, very powerful, and there's a lot of fun parts to be played in here. So let's do it. <laughs> 